Hey and welcome guys, I'm Dingsy and this is Avebot TV with the let's play of Bliss. It's a game that was recently released on Steam. I'm gonna take a look at it. It was developed by Team Bliss, ha, huh? and published by Uruju Productions if I'm not butchering that. And it's their first game on Steam. I'm gonna take a look at it. This is, well, somehow like the start menu. Except there is no menu. This is where we'll continue with the story. That we don't want to do that. Once you completed the boss, this is where you can enter the challenge mode of that boss. That's actually the same boss, just a little bit harder. And judging by the... this is the first boss at the end of the second level, it's not a little bit harder, it's actually way harder for me. Okay, so what's this bliss? It's a puzzle to the platformer. It's kind of subtle. It has five levels, I haven't completed them all, I just know because the Steam page says that. And they represent like the five stages of grief. And I have trouble initializing which level is what, if they in order or not. And I think we're just gonna start with it and show you how it goes. Um, the game is in like 720 I think, and as there is no menu I have no idea how to make it full screen. So I'm gonna be playing like this, it's still reasonable. I mean for you it will be full screen. <coughs> and here we go, I'm deleting my progress, so no. I can still access the boss though. Huh. Oh well. Let's see. And here we go. We start as an unknown entity. A person behind a mask. And slowly, I guess, gain control of whoever we are. You can move with W... A, D, I mean, I have S. I have no no use for it yet, or you can use the arrows, but since later on you realize, oh wait, so we need to use the mouse as well. I guess I'll use WAD. W for the jump. And here we go, level 1, sunshine and lollipops. Uh, is that the denial or the... the last phase, the acceptance? I can't tell. And here we go, I like the music. I actually moved the mouse away from the screen for now as... There is no need for it just yet. Okay, so the game doesn't really hold your hand. You really need to realize what you can do and what you can't do. And those are the checkpoints. Surely the one turn, the white, that gives us help. So if you die like this, you turn into the shadow and go back. The checkpoints are pretty reasonable. Like The game can easily be divided in small puzzles that you need to complete. So I have no problem with that. And we're chasing after that kid. Yep, that one over there. And that time just stopped. It's a mechanic that we'll use later on. Okay, this is getting a little bit challenging. The game is by no means easy. Here we go. Balloons, lollipops. Pretty good team. I was like, oh well. The game said it's gonna be sad and well, heavy story and then starts like this, what the hell, and then the second level I realize, oh wait, it is actually, okay here we go, as for now you only can jump and do nothing, but as we progress, we start acquiring new mechanics, like we're gonna get a boomerang to kill shit, oh well, help us jump, as, oh, there will be a stop time mechanic, a stopwatch that's gonna appear in the top left anytime now. Because I'm chasing after the kid, yeah. I think we will become that kid with time. I think this is the person, the wife we're chasing. Oh well, discovering in this strange world. And here we go. This is one of those mechanics where you need to destroy all of those scary, or well, I don't know, some faces in order to open the gate to progress. And this will get increasingly harder to do as I waddle over in the water. Okay, here we go. He's jumping. This could have been faster, but I guess the game really likes the balloon mechanic. It's reasonable. You know, we do not need to rush everything. We'll take our time, enjoy the graphics. 
the game with like I've played it to level 3. It really reminds me of Limbo probably and a little bit of Braid, not that much. And here we go. I guess that, that kid is gonna leave the ship to us and now we can stop time instead of the kid stopping time for us. We will be the only one that's not... Here you can see, depending on the puzzle at hand, the time at the top left corner, like the, if you don't know how to recognize analog watch, I don't know, you just really need to learn to. But shows you how much time you have left until the, the time actually continues. And here we go, you can use it again. So yeah, you have to keep that in mind, but I usually just... The time is... Oh, well that didn't go well. <laughs> The time is usually enough, sometimes it's pretty close, so you need to watch it. Okay, here we go. Well, way too ambitious. Come on now. We really just need to use it and then slowly jump. It's more than enough time. And now, here the importance is. It doesn't, the game really doesn't explain it to you, you just need to realize that you need to disable all those, I guess, shadows of bad things in some one person's life while stopping the time. So you stop the time, and then <laughs> save the game, easy. Save is automatic. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Yeah, definitely. Let's see, how did I do it? I like that mechanic specifically since later on there will be quite cunning. You need to be creative to. Oh, okay. Not so close, but still. <coughs> the levels are actually, I think, pretty long. We'll see how long I'm gonna need for this one, even though I've completed it before. Can I do it? No. And now we need to wait for the next iteration. The bone to pop, or maybe we should just... Yeah, maybe we should just have done that instead. Oh my god! Way too aggressive. Could have easily done it this whole way. Damn it. We can even wait for it here. We have enough time. Those lollipops getting brighter and bigger. Okay, here we go. Oh no. I'm failing even though this should be pretty good. And easy. And then, as you see, once you've completed it, since you would, like if I'm about to exit this and come later on, you sp I'll spawn at that lantern at the back, not at, at this one here, oh actually, well... Yeah, I think I'll spawn at the one at the back, and but it's gonna be with a complete stage like this, so I don't have to complete that puzzle again, I'm just spawning here so I can move to this one. I'm pretty sure I'll be dying, oh well, as I restart the video for the next part, you're gonna see what I mean. Here we go. It's also pretty straightforward still. You just... The game tells the story in a subtle way, there is actually no voice acting or any subtitles whatsoever. You just realize what's going on slowly. Hmm... How am I gonna do this? I can stop the time. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Oh shit. So, 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 so. Mistakenly pressing the space. Easy. The birds are flying, everything is pink and. Yeah, so I still can decide if this is. Because the next stage is so dark and gloomy, it really thinks. I really think it's like. Um. The depression stage, but well, we'll see about that. Now, this is a little bit trickier. No, 
didn't do it. Obviously, you need once you stop the time, you need to step on everybody's head. So you need to be pretty precise, and I guess I'm not. No. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I don't think so. We'll see. Yeah. It's definitely not gonna work. So we need better planning. By the way, if you stop time and then resume time and it spawns on you, you die. Because those are the evil masks. Oh well. I represent those thorns somehow. There will be thorns on the ground later on. Even if you try to go on the challenge mode of the boss. So yeah. Just need to be proper here. Yeah, that what shit. Oh shit, now the time is not gonna be enough for. No, it's enough. need to be exactly on the border with your jumping abilities, okay. What about this? Not good enough. I guess I need to start at a different point. What? I died? Huh. I still think I need to use the blue. Something like this. Give me time! Oh, close one. Oh shit. I don't think this is enough. Can do that jump? Wait. There has to be a way. Yeah, something like this. I like the parts where I need to time it well and. Oh my god! <laughs> this was so little time, I forgot about it. Yeah, I should keep an eye on the on the watch. Maybe we can actually do it without the time. Yeah, there we go. I just need to be a little more patient. Enjoying the music in this level. And the next one is a little gloomy, but I guess it's all fitting. Okay, now how are we gonna do this? Start jumping and then enable the time as I'm about to drop. Time. It's enough. I like those. I don't even know what it calls the thing in the background there. It's like a person. Like a warrior. Oh shit. I don't have much time. Just... Can you even do that jump? We can. Oh, there we go. Now, what about this? Is the double balloon here? Here we go. Oh, that part. You can't really start and stop the time in a rapid succession. Okay, here we go. 
getting a radio. That worked better than expected. And suddenly... <coughs> I'm getting sicker. And it's raining! Oh shit. Was that the level 1? I guess this is some part of the story now here, yeah. The kid... Stopped the time and was his mom, I think. Sad shit. But the mom... Will still be with the kid. In the form of a spiritual butterfly. That's gonna help us... Times of need. I guess there is a story in between levels. Yeah. And as you see, I think I assumed part of the kit now. I got the chest. I'm not a shadow anymore. I have part of me is starting to identify with the kit. Or well, that's just my speculation. But I guess that's all for now, guys. Level 1. Tell me in the comments if you think that's what the acceptance or the was the other stage of grief level 1 the ignorance no it's not it's with the denial yeah if it's the denial or the acceptance stage anyhow I'm Dixie this was Avebat TV with a let's play of Bliss thank you for watching don't forget to like the video follow the channel and I'll see you next time